Hello, Cosmic Family. It's your girl, Cosmic Jazz 222. And today I am back with another pick a card reading. This time it's regarding what blessings you are attracting and what blessings are heading your way at the moment. I really felt called to do this reading because I'm pretty sure April was hectic for many of y'all. We had the eclipses, we had the Mercury retrograde, and there was just a lot happening in April and with the world also that I'm noticing. So I feel like we need some good news and I think you guys need it. So I will be doing this reading for y'all and this time because I'm feeling very generous I'm going to give you all four piles. So yes, you will have four piles to choose from. And I will have the piles shown in the screen very shortly. But before we begin, if you are just coming across my channel, hi, my name is Jasmine. Um, I'm a little psychic here on YouTube. And I do readings. I do tarot readings, astrology readings. Um, I talk about different topics like spirituality and religion, conspiracy. I even started doing celebrity readings and I'll be doing more in the near future. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And I basically cover what's happening up in the stars and what's happening in our reality. So with that being said, guys, um, before we, before I start the piles, you know, show you guys what the piles look like, I have to give a disclaimer because, you know, I have to. This will be a general reading. All the piles I'll be showing will be general readings. So that means not every single thing is going to resonate with you. And that's not a bad thing. What you can do you can use my readings more as guidance and confirmation for you. And if there's something that doesn't resonate, do not take it. All right, guys. So with that being said, um, I will show the piles. Choose which pile resonates with you. You can pause the video. I will have the timestamps in the description and even the comment section. Um, and yeah, go for it, y'all. See you. hello pile one welcome to your reading so if you chose this first group i don't know what picture i'm going to choose for it but you guys know this will be your reading so i have a plethora of cards to pull from so i already have them pre-shuffled over here and i have your cards out i don't know what's underneath but we're just gonna get straight forward with it okay so before we really dive into the tarot I want to pull, um, I want to use the Astro Dice real quick. Okay, so if you know anything about astrology, you know that there is the house system where in your birth chart, your birth chart is basically divided into three, um, not three, 12 sectors of life. So I'm going to explain all this to you, but I'm going to roll it and I'm going to see which area of life is receiving the most blessings or you're going to see the most focus on okay so pile one what blessings are coming in for pile one okay so you have the 11th house pile one and the 11th house deals with the collective it deals with society it deals with social media so i am already picking up pile one you might be a bit of an influencer you might have a following or you might be very social you have a lot of people around you. You make a lot of friends quite easily. And there is a focus on your public and social life. So I'm seeing networking. I'm seeing you creating connections with other people, platonic specifically. Now, the 11th house also deals with wishes, manifestation, and hope. Things that we are able to manifest and realize in our lifetime. So I felt like PAL 1, what's written, and I saw 1 for 4. So you might be, you might resonate as a chosen Okay, so what I'm really getting, pal one, you're about, you're on the brink of manifesting or being blessed with everything you truly desire. There is one specific manifestation that is really big for you. You've been praying on it. You've been working at it. And you've been really calling for this thing to come in. Whatever comes to mind, pal one, that very thing is going to be manifesting soon this year and of course we are in Taurus season um so it might be happening around Taurus or Gemini season but something very big for you if it's friendships good if it's to become more famous or to be more recognized for your achievements there's that if it's a relationship something could be manifesting with it so really apply it to your situation so I'm gonna start off over there and I want to pull an angel number for you first and then we'll get into your cards All right, so what angel number 
for pile one. Okay, we have 77. I am brave. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. And you might be seeing the number 77 a lot. You might be a light path seven, or maybe you like the number seven, but seven is a very lucky and spiritual number. And as I stated before, I did mention one of your biggest desires or biggest wishes are about to come true, and that's what I'm seeing. So pile one, what God wants you to know, what spirit wants you to know is you're about to accomplish or achieve something really big or attract something pretty big. But make sure that you are cutting ties with the past. Make sure you are forgiving yourself. Make sure you're at peace with what has happened. Because I do feel like a lot of you guys have gone through some cycles that were not so easy to deal with. And this is your moment to move forward. You have the green light. So um, keep that in mind, pal one. You don't have to deal with whatever you dealt with in the past. Okay, that's the past. It's, it's past and it's history for a reason. All right. And then we have I am intuitive. Um, I think this is 11 or 1-1. One, one. You have been, you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. So Pal one, you might also be pretty psychic or you're really intuitive, you're an empath. I feel like a lot of you guys know that these blessings are coming in. You've possibly been getting gut feelings or you're seeing signs definitely take heed of those signs because it's letting you know literally that all of this is about to happen okay so let's see what exactly is about to manifest okay so when pull from your cards i just saw 444 that's ancestors so we have the temperance reversed we have the queen of cups reversed and then we have the three of pentacles okay so well, here's what I'm saying for you. We have temperance reverse. So I'm getting Sagittarius energy. That may be your sign. You might have it in your chart. If not, that's totally fine. But that's the main energy that's coming through. I'm also getting water signs, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So what I'm seeing, pal one, I am feeling like perhaps you have been dealing with a cycle or a period in life where it's been really hard to regulate your emotions. I'm getting for this group, again, tying back to the intuitive card that we got with your angel number. A lot of you guys, I feel, are empaths. You feel deeply. You are very sensitive to energies. Even the fact that you're feeling something good is coming is kind of aligning with the fact that you are intuitive. Now, pal one, I really feel like you're coming from a cycle where... Like I said, you have had issues regulating your emotions. Maybe when it came to the seasons, you had those seasonal depressions, for example. Or when something does happen, it's hard for you to kind of reboot or bounce back from it because you feel it so deeply and it shakes you to your core. Some of you guys may feel like you are misunderstood. You may feel like no one else understands how deep your emotions run. Maybe you haven't dealt with people who are like you and you possibly have felt like you were alone in some cases or no one aligned with you. You possibly were aligned with people in the past that took advantage of the fact of you were an empath or you're very nurturing and caring. So what I'm trying to tell you with this, temperance represents impatience especially when it's in reverse. It represents impatience and also represents a lack of balance and a lack of control. And then we, when you pair that with the Queen of Cups reverse, this is someone who has issues regulating their emotions, someone who may struggle with those darker and you know intense emotions that we experience as humans. So the good news that I'm seeing, pal one, is you will be entering a time where you will be feeling more light, it won't be as heavy. You won't feel like you are struggling every single day just to get through life, just to m make it to the next day. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, for some of you, I am getting a deeper message um, in regards and is regarding to you living. OK, if you if you get what I'm trying to say, you are getting out of that cycle or out of that energy where 
you just feel like you can't move forward. You will be able to move forward. You will be able to finally see brighter days and see that light at the end of the tunnel. I see that's what the blessing that's coming in for you. Now, the fact that we have three of pentacles, what this is also telling me is things will feel like they're working out finally. You, you, It was going to feel like you won't have to put in so much effort to make something work or try to be as careful as possible to make something work. Maybe in the past... You had to go through so many hurdles and obstacles just for you to get some type of reward or some type of acknowledgement or something to happen in your favor. But the cycle you're entering that's coming in for you, it will happen without you even pushing or trying so hard. It will just happen for you. And that's going to alleviate some of that emotional burn burden you've been experiencing in the past. I'm also getting um, POW 1. For your career if you have been feeling very unsatisfied with your life purpose well not your life purpose but what you're doing as a career because career and life purpose are different they can be different but they can be the same thing right if you've been feeling very unsatisfied with your job specifically i do feel like there are new opportunities coming in but you have to look forward to it, okay? You have to put yourself out there or you have to actively search and do your research. If you see a job opening, for example, go for it. If you're seeing that there's a job at another agency or maybe you are a business owner and there's an opportunity there, take it. It's all about putting forth that effort and putting out that energy, okay? Let me see. So that's what I'm getting so far. But if you have been struggling with your emotions, I do feel like it's going to get better. It's definitely going to be less heavy and more light. And I'm seeing you being happy, living again. Okay, so let's get into your um, your cards. All right. So which one do I want to pull from? Okay, I want to pull from this one. Okay, so let's see. So we have Get Curious. We have the observer. Again, who, someone in this group is very intuitive. You might be a fellow reader, okay, Powell? You might be a fellow reader or you might be um, starting to dive deep into it. So another thing I'm actually picking up, if you're someone who is actually interested, like let's say you like watching readings, for example, but you want to start becoming a reader or start to dive into like the study of tarot and, you know, the deeper knowledge of the world that is going to be something that does blesses you in this life that does bless you some of you are meant to be a reader you're meant to tap into your psychic abilities and you're being called pal one to explore them more to connect with it you might connect with the moon specifically you might be yeah i keep saying cancer or cancer season is going to be very prominent here so if you're noticing that you're receiving signs and you're having dreams or you're you're just feeling like there's this other worldly energy around you, that's because you're trying you're being awoken to your abilities and you are being called to definitely dive deep into it. Do not be afraid of it though. Because at first it may seem a little bit daunting like, "Oh my god, goodness, I had a dream about this and it ended up happening." Don't be afraid. Just know that it's your abilities awakening. So, some of you guys are definitely into that. If you are already a reader, I'm seeing exploring new ways of mediumship or new ways of connecting with the spiritual realm will be something will be a blessing that's coming in. So your abilities are either going to heighten or you're going to be unlocking abilities, power one. Okay, so this is from my deck I made, my astrology deck. So we have Galactic Center. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a powerful card. Okay, we're going to get into it. Galactic Center, which is divine consciousness, source. You're connected to source. Um, if you believe in God, you're really connected to God. We have the seventh house of partnerships. Mm -hmm. And then we have the part of fortune. Okay, let me just um, pull the cards then. All right, we have origin. And this is initiation. Mm -hmm. Creativity and vitality. And then we also have relaxation, peace, tranquility, and calmness. So in addition to what I have already stated... 
Power one, you are definitely entering a blessed time. The fact that we have the Galactic Center, to me, this is one of the best cards to get into my deck besides Jupiter. Galactic Center is source. It's God. It's the spirit realm. And this is all about pure energy in its purest form. So Pow One, the blessing that's coming in, you're about to connect with this energy. You're about to either reestablish your connection with God. You're restoring your faith. And I'm seeing you elevating spiritually where you're understanding your life you're understanding the reality of life for everyone and you are being called on your divine path and divine mission now i do also feel like pal one you are going to be blessed with connections and i did see that with the 11th house here i did see you surrounding a lot of being surrounded by a lot of people and part of that deals with rom romance so for some of you guys if you are single I do see divine counterparts coming through. That's why I'm getting with this connection here. And the fact that we have the part of fortune, uh, marriage and aligning yourself with those individuals are also going to enhance your abundance and prosperity, especially in the financial realm. So I'm getting that. So some of you guys might be even connecting with someone with a lot of money. That's for some of you. Or when you meet this person or these people, your money increases. You're able to make more money. So that's another thing that's coming through. And I'm, I'm definitely seeing that with the origin. You're planting seeds and those seeds will be growing. Um, but most importantly, the main message here is you're being initiated, pal one. Whatever that means to you, you're being initiated. You're being brought into this new chapter where not only are you seeing brighter days, you're feeling more relaxed. I feel like you guys will be relaxing more. You're going to be eliminating any form of anxiety. I don't see any stress. I see you more calm, collected, and your emotions are very smooth sailing. And this will put you on the right vibration to connect with your intuition, to connect with your abilities, and to also connect with those who will be enhancing those abilities or enhancing that prosperous energy that's coming through. But you have to be ready for this because this is going to be a complete shift in what you are normally used to, Pal One. This is a big change. And it may not be easy at first. You might be like, oh my goodness, like this is a lot. Especially because I feel like some of you guys are just used to either getting bad luck or feeling like you're unlucky, you're destined for failure. No, that's all changing. So that's what I'm seeing for you with that. Now I'm going to pull from your Moonology cards. Wow. Don't let your past hold you back. South Node. And that completely connects to I Am Brave. It says... It's time to move on from the old patterns and habits and fears. Whatever fear you have, whatever anxiety you have, release it. That no longer belongs to you. Leave it to God. Leave it to source, whatever you believe in. Leave it to them. You're meant to push forward. You're no longer bounded by the past, pal one. You're not. The next card that's coming out for you is the end of a tough cycle approaches God bless, amen, ashe, yes, full moon in Capricorn. Some of you guys might be a Capricorn. You might even, like, if you know your chart, some of you might even have the South Node in Capricorn. I know personally I do. So I know how this energy be working, okay? So I get you guys. I see you, power one, like I understand. But what this is telling me is all that hardship that you went through is coming to an end. Not only did it strengthen you, it built character. So the chapter you're entering now is full of rewards. It's full of like abundance. Like I'm seeing all of this for you. And it's definitely connected to, yes, your job, your abilities, your divine alignment, and also partnerships. So Pow on, be open to receive because this is what's coming in. All right. So I'm put this over here. Um, I think that's all the messages I have for you. Actually, before we end off, I'm going to roll the dice one more time to see if we have any final messages. Okay. So we have Gemini. Okay, some of you guys might be a Gemini or have Gemini placements. We have Gemini, the sun, and then we have the fourth house. I'm also getting, um, power one, something with home. I'm seeing a focus on home. So you might, I'm seeing making upgrades to your home or if you're choosing to move that would definitely help with this overall energy with initiating to initiating you to this next phase um i'm also getting some of you guys might be purchasing an uh, a property that could be it because i'm seeing gemini gemini represents two 
and I'm seeing the fourth house, which is home, roots, family. So I'm definitely seeing something here about multiple properties. And I'm also getting something about ancestors. So your ancestors, if you're very connected to your roots, they're with you, okay? They're with you and they're supporting you through this process. So with that being said, Power One, I hope that resonated. Um, good luck, be prepared, and release release the past because that no longer aligns with you, all right? I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be what blessings are heading your way and what you can expect. So basically good news, all right? So before we begin, um, let's go ahead and roll the dice here. This is my astro dice and this is specifically for the different houses. If you know anything about astrology, your birth chart is basically broken down to 12 houses, each representing a different aspect of life. So I'm going to basically explain uh, whatever house comes up for you so we're gonna see what area of life is gonna be is gonna be blessed um in the near future for you pal too okay so we got the 12th house Ooh, so pal two let me tell you something about the 12th house that house is pretty deep it's it can be scary at times because it deals with the subconscious it deals with fears isolation even addictions to a certain extent it deals with karma it deals with spirituality it deals with past lives even in foreign lands so what i'm saying with the 12th house your psychic abilities your inner world is going to be blessed so i'm seeing things starting internally for you and then they're going to be progressing outward and actually manifesting physically for some of you guys if you have been dealing with phobias, okay, because I'm getting phobias specifically or fears, I'm seeing the blessing that's coming in is you're going to be able to overcome certain fears, overcome certain points of anxieties for you. Things that have really stopped you from being brave or being adventurous and really enjoying life. Whatever has been kind of like a weight on your shoulders when it comes to your emotions is going to be alleviated i'm also getting karmic debt that you have been paying off is going to be completely paid off all right so if you feel like you've been in a karmic cycle for quite some time now i see that karmic cycle coming to an end so that's what's that so that's what i'm basically getting off the bat okay so let's get some angel numbers for you okay what messages do you have for pal to The 12th house is also dealing with things that are hidden. So what I'm also getting is a lot of things that you have been unaware of or has been hidden from you, secret, will be revealed in the in the near future. So this could be like secrets. This could be, you know, all types of things. But okay, so the card that actually came out for you is, I think this is 11. It says, I am intuitive. You have a keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. So you might be a life path 11, pal two, or you might be a life path one, or you like the number 11 or 1111. 11. And this is connected to intuition, which is really correlated with the 12th house. This even mentions things about unspoken, the unspoken, the unseen. So again, when it comes to things that are secret, things that we as humans can't even see physically this is an ability that will be unlocking for you and you will get accustomed to and i also feel like pal to your ability to guide others your ability to provide insight is also going to be a blessing that you not only not only get but other people will be blessed to get as well from you so that's what i'm getting already and I apologize if I'm like stuttering. I'm still like getting over the the retrograde girl. Okay. So we also have number two, I'm diplomatic. You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. So with this energy, I'm getting Libra. So pal two, I'm also getting the blessing that's coming in. I'm seeing you either being a mediator or or certain situations are going to be mediated for you and you're going to be able to see things from different perspectives that other people cannot see and again it's tying back to your intuition so with that being said let's get into your cards all right and i also have your other cards pre-shuffled over there i don't know what's underneath but we're going to find out together all right so blessings we have the three of pentacles reversed we have the two of pentacles reversed 
And then we have the Empress. Mmm, okay. So, pal two, let me just say something. You are very abundant in many ways. And I want to ask you, do you know that? Do you know that you are abundant? Do you see that you're abundant? So, um, ooh, let me slow down the volume because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, we have three of pentacles reverse. To me, this represents issues with the workplace, issues with job, or issues with the work environment in general. The two of pentacles reverse can talk about an unequal exchange or an issues of balance. And the empress um, speaks of you, your self-worth and value, and your ability to allow things to happen in your favor. So it was very interesting, pal, too. I feel like the blessing that's coming in, if you've been feeling unappreciative, not appreciative, unappreciated at your job or in the workspace, or even let's say you're training or you're in school and you feel like your talents and your intel and your intellect have been overlooked. I do feel like in this next cycle that's coming in, the blessing that's coming in pretty soon, um, I'm seeing you being acknowledged finally. I see people finally putting the spotlight on you and finally seeing your value. Your value is going to increase, okay? That's the blessing. Not saying you're not valuable at all, okay? You are valuable, but I feel like what's coming in, people are actually going to finally see your value and see how abundant and see how... Um, rich you are and i'm not talking about money i'm talking about rich in spirit rich in happiness rich in personality rich in character and even rich in beauty if we want to go into that okay people are going to see how multifaceted how amazing and beautiful your energy is and what gifts you actually bring to the collective and what you can actually provide so people are going to take note of this because i feel like pal to especially when it comes to the work to your work life when it comes to the job i feel like um maybe for example you're not getting paid enough and maybe finally you're getting a promotion. That's what I'm getting with the Empress. You're stepping into a higher level position. People are starting to see your leadership qualities, your hard work, your determination. Okay, They're seeing all of this all of a sudden. And now you're finally getting compensated for that. So that could be a manifestation of this energy. Now, I did mention something about an unequal exchange. Maybe you feel like you're doing too many work, too much work. You're feeling, you're feeling like you're doing other people's work maybe you feel overworked right so i'm seeing a redistribution of the workload so finally there's a balance of not only work life but your personal life so i feel like your scheduling is also going to be blessed as well all right so i'm definitely getting a lot of work specifically now for others of you if you're like jazz my work life is you know i'm not i'm not too worried about this this can be relating to other aspects of life where you have to collaborate with other people, where you have to maintain something with another person. This could be in relationships. Finally, you're receiving what you're putting out through relationships or through your friendships. People are understanding how value, valuable you are and they're starting to treat you accordingly. Uh, maybe they weren't treating you accordingly before. So I'm seeing those examples specifically. Now, um, I'm also getting with the Empress, she doesn't do anything, okay? And you know why? Because she's abundant, she attracts. So I'm feeling like overall, another blessing that's coming in, you're going to be attracting opportunities, attracting people, attracting attention. There's something very succulent that's coming from your energy, pal, too. I'm not sure if you're going to be making changes with like your appearance, with your energetic vibration, with your fashion, with how you present yourself to the world, but something about you is becoming more attractive. And I'm seeing that that itself is going to make people move accordingly. Does that make sense? There's something about your energy that becomes authoritative. It commands attention. It commands people to sit up straight when you walk in a room. So um, I'm definitely getting a level of respect that's coming in for you, pal, too. All right. So um, what I want to do is I want to start looking at your other cards. OK, so let's start off with these. So we have get wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, the next card we have is sacred sexuality. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting with the empress. 
Remember I said succulent, right? <laughs> like in a, the word I heard is honeysuckle. So maybe a lot of you guys might resonate with the honeysuckle flower. Like maybe used to, I don't know if people do this nowadays, but people used to eat or drink from the honeysuckle. So there's something about like sweetness. Um, I don't know what that pertains to, but like, the fact that we got get wild and sacred sexuality, I think I think you get the underlying tone here for my mature audience, you know. <laughs> but I'm getting <laughs> okay. Let me stop. Okay, uh, I'm just feeling like you're gonna become irresistible, and I do feel like there's more attention coming to you, pal. Too, I'm definitely getting that. Now, if you are in a connection, let me just say um, I do feel like more fun times are coming. A lot of fun and wild times if you are single i feel like you will be you know attracting people who really want to get to know you but also want to have fun now if you're someone like hey girl i, I i'm done with the fun like I, I want something serious no worries what i do feel like especially with this specific card remember i keep saying value right so people are going to value you now i did i do see a little bit wildness here like some fun times but the point is there is going to be a value to your energy and to your world okay and a certain type of person or certain people are allowed to have access to that that's why i'm getting something about sacred your energy is sacred so a blessing that's coming in also is not only will you be able to determine and have discernment on who should be in your energy who deserves to be in your energy but people are going to recognize being in your energy having access to you is a blessing is a privilege okay so pal to your value listen it doesn't matter what gender you are it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine people are going to see you as a high value individual okay let's get some more cards out here so we got fire inspiration um, I'm not going to read all that, but you guys can read. So we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire signs. That might be in your chart. I'm also getting Taurus and Libra. We have the fourth house, home, roots, family. And then we have the first quarter, moon, attraction. Mm -hmm. You are a magnet, pal, too. You are definitely a magnet. We have luck. That's what we love to see. Um, go ahead and play the lottery and maybe go to the casino. <laughs> you can do that. You might you might win a little sum, okay? We also got um, a robbery, okay? It's, okay, yeah, that's what I was getting. That's what I was getting. So remember when I said something about unequal exchange or people taking from you, taking from your energy, not because they didn't see your value. This, this is not what's gonna happen. I feel this already happened to you, pal. Too this already happened, and it says unfairness, exploitation. So yeah, that's what I was getting. It felt you may have felt like you're abilities or your contributions or being exploited or you as a person your energy was being exploited even when it comes to this you may have felt like people were exploiting it in some way like your body and all that so i do feel like there's something about your value and how you maintain yourself and how you present yourself is really going to make people address you correctly you know address you with respect so i do see respect coming in um, i'm also getting with the fire fourth house in the first quarter moon um your home life is going to be very important as well if you're planning to make changes with the home um get creative start painting or doing because i see something about like interior design so if you've been wanting to like change up how your home looks or even your room or your bathroom definitely do that i feel like it's going to help bring in this energy of beauty and sweetness into your life I'm also feeling like your home life is going to be pretty rich. So a lot of family time is going to be important for you. Ancestors are going to be very important for you. I'm also thinking about mother. I'm seeing mother. So some of you guys might be wanting to be a mom. If that's the case, that makes sense why I'm seeing a lot of um, fun times in the future. So if you've been wanting to have more children, I do feel like that is a blessing coming in because the Empress does speak of motherhood and pregnancy. And we have the fourth house here along with passion and then sacred sexuality and get wild so i definitely see if you've been wanting kids that's something that that is a blessing that's coming in um if you're kind of done with that and you're like jazz i don't want no more okay that's fine you might be spending more time with kids in general 
Okay, so the cards that you have from Moonology is a new start is coming, new moon. So again, you have a new beginning on the horizon. And we also have new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. Where I, I am intuitively getting, I feel like the new moon eclipse in Aries probably was a big pivotal point for a lot of you guys. I'm also getting the new moon in Taurus that I think is happening in May. I, I will look it up if I were you. That will also be a big indicator of the changes that are coming in. But the fact that we there's new moons here and an eclipse. So not only are there powerful changes overall, but there's a new start coming. So I'm getting new energies. It feels refreshing. It feels like better. Like no more of that old mundane crap that I'm seeing. Just better and refreshing energies coming through. So I'm going to put these over here. All right. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to roll one more to see any final messages. Let's see any other messages for Kyle to you're definitely going to be blessed. I'm saying like a jackpot, like I'm getting jackpot. It might be literally it might not be literally, but ooh, there's a jackpot that you're hitting <laughs> very soon. OK, um, OK, so we got the I read it like this. So the sixth house. We have Uranus, and then we have Sagittarius. Low key, I feel like some of you guys might be wanting to travel, um, because I'm I'm hearing motherland, homeland. So if some of you guys want to travel back to your homeland or like the home of your ancestors, that will be very healing for you. I'm, I'm specifically getting on the mom, the mother side. So going to your mother's homeland would be, or grandmother's homeland will be very very healing. I'm also getting with Sagittarius the sixth house of health and routine and then Uranus. Um, I definitely feel like your schedule might be changing or maybe you need to do some revamping with your schedule. Again, like I said before, no more of the old and mundane scheduling. Do something different. Do something to spice up your routine um, and to bring in more passion overall. Something that makes you explore, something that makes you adventurous and a little bit wild. Um, and this could be like hobbies, doing things as hobbies and incorporating it more into your scheduling i'm also getting changing up possibly like your health routine okay so with that being said i hope that resonated pal too this looks like very <laughs> looks much a lot of fun here so i hope that resonated and um, i'll see you guys later bye hello pal three welcome to your reading so this will be a reading on what blessings you can expect in the near future or what good news is coming in. Um, I felt the need to do this because, again, I know April was crazy for many people. So I think we all need a little pick me up. All right. So before we even get into the tarot, I want to pull um, or roll my dice real quick, my astral dice. So for those of you guys who may know or may not know, this is related to the 12th houses in a birth chart. So if you know anything about astrology in your birth chart, it's basically divided into 12 houses that each represent a specific aspect of life. So I'm going to see which life aspect is specifically being blessed, okay, the most that's coming in. All right, let's see. Pile 3, what area of life is being blessed for Pile 3? Okay. So Pile 3, we have the third house. The third house represents technology. It represents education, language communication networking even your neighborhood and even siblings to a certain extent and um originally the third house is ruled by gemini so you might have gemini placements or you have prominent third house placements so with this i'm seeing your voice your ability to express yourself your speech is going to be highly blessed your words are going to hold a lot of power it's going to impact a lot of people and you have very important things to say to the collective so i feel like pile three um it's crazy because you are pile three right um you might be a life path three or 33 i feel like you're meant to be a teacher in some way not it doesn't have to be like your normal school teacher or like a professor but you're meant to teach people valuable lessons and really help them along their life in regards to learning about things, educating them more about life in general. It could be specific subjects or it can be on the lessons of life. So I'm getting that. I'm also picking up what's also being blessed. You're going to be networking more. I'm seeing valuable connections being made that's going to help propel you in your 
future. This could be for your life purpose, your career, or even connections. I'm also seeing some travel, some short travels happening in the near future for you. And it could be connected to you learning or you going somewhere for job related things. Okay, so I'm seeing those are the first things that are coming through. All right. Now I'm going to pull an angel number just to see um, if there is anything else. Any other messages for you? Okay, pal three. Messages for pal three. I'm sorry if the camera is shaking. That is crazy. Didn't I say three and 33? Okay, so pal three. <laughs> if you're saying 33, three or 333 a lot, that is definitely an angel number for you. I feel like some someone here is like path three or 33. But anyways, it says, I am expanding. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. So on top of that, Pal 3, there is a focus on creativity and manifestation. So if you are a life path 3, for example, you would know that a lot of our luck or a lot of our purpose comes from us not only expressing but being creative being passionate about things, and being an advocate. So Pile 3, along with the third house showing up, I feel like parts of your life are going to be expanding in many ways and is tying back to your own personal power and creating these things, not just like praying on them if you like to pray or manifesting, but you're actually doing it so that you can co-create co with God and with the universe and with spirit. So I'm seeing good changes are coming in and it's supposed to be expansive versus being inhib inhibited if that's the word <laughs> sorry if my um voice is i've been having issues speaking all day so please bear with me but anyways um maybe you guys are having issues with speaking hence why the third house showed up that is an area of life that's going to be expanding and blessed your ability to speak and formulate your thoughts better if that's something you've been struggling with and that's crazy that <laughs> underneath the deck is I am a creator zero zero zero. You are one of you are one with the creator. I literally said co-create with God. Okay, that's crazy. Anyways, you are one with the creator, and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on Earth. So, power three, never limit yourself. Never limit yourself. You have so much power. You have so much determination. And you have the drive to make things happen. Whatever, literally, you're the epitome of whatever you put your mind to, it can happen. So do that, pal three, all right? So let's get into your cards. We have the two of wands reverse. We have the four of pentacles reverse. And then we have the ten of pentacles reversed. Okay, so blessings that are coming in for pile three. Pile three, I am seeing a bit of stagnancy in your energy. And I feel like you are at a point in your life where you possibly don't know or you're unsure of what the next step is. You're unsure of what's going to happen next. I am seeing a little bit of anxiety here. It's not too much, but it's, it's there. And there's an area of mystery. It's like you don't know what's to come. You don't know what the future really looks like. So let me break down the cards for you. We have the two of wands reverse. To me, the two of wands, if it's upright, it's all about we're planning, we're expanding. But when it's reversed, there's almost a, an internal thing that's going on here where you're possibly reevaluating what the plan is. Okay, so I'm seeing a plan being reevaluated. The four of pentacles reverse can speak of releasing, not being too tight on something, and it represents being a bit mutable or adaptive because the four of pentacles upright usually represents being frugal, being very close minded or frugal with your money, with your resources or investments. But when it's in reverse, it's all about being more generous or being more fluid in that sense. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse, which can talk about financial loss, right? Or something that's not meant to last in the long term. So, Pal 3, if you are in the process of reassessing your plans or trying to come up with a plan B, for example, I would say don't see that as a negative thing because there's something here about timing, 
that's number one but also certain things like i'm seeing something about redirection i'm getting something about redirection so the blessing interesting enough the blessing that i'm getting for you is there's a redirection or divine intervention happening in your life right now right now it may feel like a curse it may feel like dang everything might be going wrong or it might be delays but i feel like it's a blessing because whatever it is you are pursuing or the way it could also be the way you're pursuing it or the timing of it was not right maybe you just weren't ready maybe some things had to happen first before this could come in or maybe the first plan or plan a just wasn't sufficient enough to the plan to the goal that would align with your expectations and what you truly deserve so pal three if you are reassessing your plans do not see it as a bad thing see it as a blessing because there is something you need to notice you need to take notice of and this is something you possibly didn't see before but because you're taking a step back you're literally because here's what i'm saying i'm saying you're going to you're going down a path right and then there's a fork in the road pal three you took this path but you're realizing this path is leading to like a back road and this back road is leading to like a dead end. So you decide, okay, I have to backtrack back to the fork and go the other way. That process of backtracking isn't taking 10 steps back. You're actually still making progress even though you're backtracking, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is the blessing of redirection is a good thing. I'm actually picking up this plan, the second plan that you're having will be better, will be a better match for you and will yield the right results for you. But don't see this temporary obstacle or stagnancy or redirection as bad. Okay, pal three. So please. Okay, so let me look into your cards. Let me see what else you need to know. So we have the outlaw. And then we have the observer. So Pathor is so interesting because I'm getting a much more deeper message here. There's something about you observing and seeing how your life plays out. That observation is the blessing as well. Seeing how things play out and how certain dominoes fall in your life and seeing how it all leads to the right thing for you, the right circumstances, the right meetings, the right outcomes. Because there's something about you renovating, not renovating, but like admiring how divine intervention works or divine, not intervention, divine orchestration. Yeah, that's the word. You seeing how divine orchestration works. That's something that's to be admired. So there, there's something here about you observing it and allowing, again, allowing God. So, okay, yeah, that's the message. Again, you're putting in effort. You're doing what you need to do. But the second half of it is allowing God, allowing spirit, allowing the universe to take its course, to do what it needs to do. And you're going to see the bigger picture and like, oh, okay, so I, I see why that didn't work out or I see why I had to hold off on that. It's because the outcome will be so much better if you just allow it to play out as it should. So there's there's a there's there's some type of honor in observing, okay? Now we also have the outlaw. Now power 3, I do feel like for some of you guys <laughs> you're <laughs> for some of you I feel like your life isn't really conventional or the process or the progress of your life isn't conventional. So, you know how we have this, you know, society Okay, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is, you know how we have like the structure in life based on what society expects us to do. So like, okay, we go to elementary school, to middle school, then to high school and then college and then master's or PhD or MD. Like, you know, that type of progression, right? I feel like for you, pal three, your life was never that conventional. Maybe you took a different pathway that was completely different from like your traditional, oh, I'm going to go to college and get my degree. Maybe you... I'm I'm hearing some of you guys may have been dropouts, like you dropped out of college or you're dropped out of high school and you took a different route. 
but that still led you to some type of success because you're not meant for the conventional path like you're meant you're meant to pursue a life purpose that goes against the norm that expands the human mind that creates things you're supposed to be an innovator pal three so that's what i'm getting you're supposed to create things you're supposed to set the trends some of you guys are aquarius so you have aquarius placements you're meant to set the trends you're meant to bring in something new to the table that is not conventional and maybe that's why you have received a lot of redirections in your life because you're meant to formulate a unique path you have a unique path and that is what god has set for you Okay, and it's all expansive. So pal three, don't feel like your again, your redirections or your stagnancies are a bad thing. It's part of your path. So I'm getting like enjoy the ride, enjoy the observations, enjoy the journey, rather than focusing on the outcome. Okay. Ooh, that way that was a lot. I really hope I made sense, but let's let's pull some more. We have conjunction, prominence, union, reinforcements, combined, amplify. You are very powerful though, pal three. I, I would have to say that. We have square your upgrade. <laughs> look, 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 look. I know some of you guys just rolled your eyes like, God. And then we got fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm going to get into that, but I want to pull some more cards. We have family. It says bond, home, background. And we have perseverance. Challenge, endurance, resolution. Yeah. <laughs> Father, you know what I'm hearing? I, I know you guys are going to roll your eyes so hard it might get stuck. But what I heard was the reason why you're experiencing these obstacles or these delays or like these challenging situations with your life process, life progress or life path is because you have the power to deal with it. You are... You know, you have what it takes to overcome those things and it only makes you stronger as a person, only builds your character. And I know some of you guys do not want to hear that. I know some of you guys are asking, why does it have to be me? Why do I have to go through this? Like, I didn't ask. Listen, you are the warrior, pal three. Yes, you are. And you have the drive. You have the, the fire. You have the power, the passion, the energy. You are headstrong. You have the perseverance to overcome these obstacles. And guess what? When you overcome these obstacles, your abilities amplify. Your strength amplifies. Your energy amplifies. Your manifestations only amplifies because of that. So let me just say this, Pal 3. These obstacles, do not see them as a curse or something that's unlucky. It's actually refining you it's, it's not changing you it's refining you like think of it think of a diamond when we first find diamonds in the earth they're not that shiny like you know shiny cut stone that we see like okay let me, let me just let me just tell you when we first see this for example this is not the original look it's more it looks more like a rock it's not really something we find desirable but under pressure right under pressure and under constant molding you end up refining it into something beautiful and if you want to be extra add the titanium place to it so that's what i'm saying for you powder you're like a diamond you're put you're purposely put under pressure with certain things to refine you as a person because no one else in the world can do it like you or will be able to do it like you because they're not strong enough they're not up for the challenge like you are, Pal 3. So I want to remind you that don't see this as like something bad. The more challenges you face and overcome, the more rewards you experience, the more accolades and acknowledgments. And like, you're just going to feel better as a person because of that. So Pal 3, listen, you got what it takes. Damn, I'm also saying something about family. I'm I'm actually getting um pal three. I, I I'm picking up because I'm seeing something about home and background. So some of you guys may have came from a disadvantaged background or economic status. Maybe you came from poverty, maybe you came from a dysfunctional home. And maybe that has kind of set off like this idea about oh i was always destined for this cycle i was always destined to endure hardships because i was literally born into it so pal three some of you guys were actually born to some type of hardship especially with home and family and it, it 
it literally stemmed from childhood. So if that's your story, just know you are not meant for that outcome. Okay, even though you do still experience obstacles, you're meant to overcome it and you're meant to establish a life that's completely different from your childhood, something that's better. Okay, so I hope that makes sense with that. And I'm also picking up if you do come from a disadvantaged background in a family, if you do want a family in the future, I see you being able to cultivate an environment where your children will not have to deal with the things you have to deal with. So that's a blessing itself. Now, let's get into your moonology. That's a deep message, though. We have don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Some of you guys are Leo. And then we have full moon and Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Um, I'm also getting some of you are very, very intuitive because that's what I'm getting with the full moons here. Possibly you get more active during a full moon. That could be um, a message there. But I'm, I'm getting... <laughs> Wait, don't let pride get in your way. I don't see this as like pride, as in like you, you're you egotistical or anything of that nature. It's more of um, don't let certain things change you. You know, don't let certain things get you down and really, you know, take out that character that makes you unique, Pile 3. That's what I'm getting. So, um, although you went through all these challenges, it hasn't changed you as a person. You know, when I mean a person, your good characteristics, your kindness, your compassion, your drive, nothing has shifted that. So continue to be you. With this card, the answers you need are coming. So again, <laughs> this because I'm seeing this major redirection happening in your life, um, you will start to see very soon why this redirection is happening why you're experiencing delays and it's all going to make sense and you're going to feel more patient with the process you're gonna be like okay okay sure I, I'll, I'll accept this you know it's gonna make sense very soon pal three so i would i know some of you do not want to hear it hang in there hang in there pal three i know it's difficult but listen it's you, you'll know you'll, you'll understand very soon why all this had to happen okay so i'm gonna end off with final messages rolling the dice okay so we got gemini again gemini moon in the eighth house oh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> anything with the eighth house deals with um ups and downs especially moon and eighth that's like equivalent to a scorpio moon or having a moon pluto aspect those with those aspects um yeah, emotions definitely go up and down. And I'm getting with the Gemini energy. Some of you guys may feel like you're pulling your hair out because of how annoying this process is. Um, I would say, though, this is making you stronger as a person. And I do feel like th there's a form of resilience coming in. I feel like there, there's something here about your emotions and your intuition definitely peaking, though, because of this. So give yourself some grace, pal three. Um, just know this is all working out in your favor and you're going to see it very soon. So don't don't jump to conclusions. That's all I'm going to say. But I hope this resonated and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, pal four. Welcome to your reading. So this will be a reading in regards to what blessings are coming in, what you can expect, any good news, because I feel like we all need it after April, child, okay? So what we're going to do first, I'm going to roll my astro dice, and this is specifically for the houses. So if you know anything about astrology, in your birth chart, your birth chart is broken down to 12 houses. Each of these houses represent a specific area of life. So I'm going to see which area of life is going to be blessed the most that's coming up, all right? So let's see, power four. What area of life is going to be blessed? Ooh. So it rolled on number five. So this is the fifth house. The fifth house rules over um, children. So if you, so I'm already getting, if some of you guys are wanting kids or um, you want some changes to happen when it comes to your connection with your kids, there is positive changes coming in. But the fifth house also deals with dating, romance, hobbies, fun, anything that's fun and um entertainment and also talent so pile three i'm definitely see i'm not three i'm so sorry if i said pile three maybe you should check out pile three but anyways um pile four i feel like you're going to be blessed with more 
fun times, times where you can enjoy entertainment, times where you can enjoy relaxation, you can enjoy leisure, you can enjoy doing your hobbies, doing things for recreational purposes, and um, just enjoying life because the fifth house deals with that. I'm also getting you will have more time to explore your talents and actually be known for your talents. So this could be talent of singing, it could be music, it can be drawing, art, um, there's there's other towns acting if that's something you do or speaking or even doing stuff like this what i'm doing so any talents you may have um even cooking i'm hearing so definitely explore that i think that's a blessing that's coming in for you pretty soon so we're gonna do your angel number and then get into your tarot so let's see and also if you are wanting to date or maybe you're currently dating i do see blessings coming in for that as well better partners people that actually connect with you that you resonate with i'm seeing that coming in so let's see how for angel number okay we got one we have 23 i'm adventurous you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible you love hold up <laughs> That mean I don't know how to read. Okay, possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive for you. Life. Oh my gosh, can I not read? Okay, so someone here has issues. <laughs> okay, someone here has issues um, speaking or maybe feel like it's hard to express yourself. So that could be something that's also going through some changes. Throat chakra activation. But that's so funny to me. Anyways, um, child, let's get back. Where was I? It says, okay. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. So, and then if you add up two and three, it goes to five. So, um, some of you guys might be life, life path five. So, again, this is tying back to your main message. Um, I see fun times coming and you being adventurous and life being exciting again. So, hmm, maybe some of you guys are also taking a trip, possibly, maybe. All right, and overall energy is I am independent, 17. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. So you are also very independent, powerful. And um, when it comes to your quality of work, no one can do it like you. You have such precision. You do things correctly. And that's something to be admired. All right, but because you're such a hard worker and you're so independent, yes, you need some fun times, right? So yeah, that's a blessing that's coming in. All right, so let's get into let's get into your cards. So we have the Ten of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Yes, Power Four. Yes, I love this energy. So let's break this down. So Power Four again keeping up with the energy of five the number five five represents change okay even though we talked about the fifth house and 23 i keep seeing the number five so we have the ten of cups reverse pile four i feel like lately you may have been pretty dissatisfied with life the ten of cups reverse can speak of um not having a happy ending or not being emotionally fulfilled with life not achieving your happily ever after or feeling like you haven't reached that point yet now we go from that energy to the eight of wands which is rapid change and movement this also deals with communication um this also deals with attention things getting focused all right and then the ten of wands reverse represents a release of a burden so pile four i do feel like the reason why you've been possibly not feeling so connected with your life lately you feel like um it just hasn't been fulfilling you may be stressed out you may be bored for some of you and it's because you have responsibilities and that's why i was getting with the independent card from your angel numbers you're very independent and you do a lot of work but unfortunately maybe work has been taking up majority of your schedule maybe you're just so focused on getting things done and doing things that are practical and logical and necessary that you barely have any time to really enjoy life and what's the point of living if you're not going to enjoy your life what's the point of working if you're not going to enjoy the fruits of your labor so power four i do see the blessing that's coming in you're going to have more free time you're going to be able to finally connect with the things you love to do and can i be honest this might be this might sound a little sad i feel like some of you guys don't even know what you like to do 
because you're so either focused on work or you're focused on other people maybe you're responsible for other people this could be like your family your children your spouse your lover your friends your colleagues your boss your teachers your classmates like whatever that's out there you focus so much on catering to those responsibilities where you kind of lost your identity you lost yourself in that so now you're going to be blessed with the opportunity to find yourself again and explore the things you love and it's through fun times it's through entertainment and definitely take advantage of that i feel like so for some of you guys, you might be taking off work or you need to take off work. So go ahead and do that. I mean, the summertime is right around the corner. I think you deserve a break. You do, you definitely do, pal, um, pal four. All right. So, okay, that was pretty straightforward, but let's get into your other cards, all right? So, yeah, let's do, let's start with this one. We have surrender. And then we have movement. I love this. I love this energy, pal, for. So as I mentioned, um, with the eight of wands, there is movement coming. And I also feel like there's something about you releasing. That's what I'm getting with surrender, releasing burdens. If you know you don't have to take on an extra responsibility or a job or, you know, project, don't do it. Don't. Yeah, because some, some of you guys, that's what I'm getting. Some of you guys volunteer yourself to do it because you're so giving like okay pal for you're so giving you want to help i get it but like come on there's some things you do not need to take on all right you don't have to be and some of you are doing it because you feel like you're inadequate or you feel like you're not doing enough but you are you're doing a lot don't be so hard on yourself are you capricorns pal for i feel like some of you guys got capricorn placements because only a capricorn oh virgo does this too capricorn and virgo does this and it's like you don't need the extra burden and stress like you know, free up your schedule a little bit. Life isn't about work. Okay. Um, now I'm also getting something else. Okay. So this, this just came through. There is a message. There is a very important message coming in. There's communication and it's regarding a situation, um, that didn't work out. So this is for some of you again, take what resonates, but pow for some of you guys will be receiving closure. I don't know what this is pertaining to, but you will be receiving closure from a situation that you thought was going to last. Um, this was something you invested in and you really had high hopes for. You really thought you were, you were going to end up with either this person or you thought. Um, if it's not romance, it's something to do with like something you wanted to know. You wanted answers, but you never received the answers you needed. I feel like those answers are coming. So power for a blessing that's coming in. There's you're going to receive an answer to your question, a question that you that's been lingering in your mind for quite some time now. And it actually contributed to your emotional burden. So because you're going to receive closure and some form of answers, um, there's a burden that's going to be released. So that's for some of you. And this is something you have to surrender to. All right. So that's um that's a message for someone. OK, so let's do this one. So we have mutable. Adaptive, versatile, tangible, distracted. It's Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. So those are some potential signs. We have the fourth house. This is home, family. And then we also have Vesta, devotion. Sir. Girl, I know you're lying. You see, power four. And we got the fourth house too. Devotion, service, sacrifice. Like you sacrifice too much, power four. And granted, like... It's good to be altruistic. Like it's good that you're such a caring person, powerful. But when it comes to the point where you're literally self-sacrificing and it's literally creating not only emotional burden but also physical burden on you, like you need to know how to balance that out, powerful. So don't feel guilty for taking time off or having time alone. Like you really deserve that. And um, this is something that needs to change. This is something that needs to happen for you. Now with the fourth house. Um, this is dealing with home. So I definitely feel like some of the responsibilities does deal with family, with home life. Um, I'm even picking up some of you guys have to take care of your parents. Some of you guys do have kids and so it's the grandparents. So some of you guys have to take care of the grandparents. Um, that's part of the responsibility that you do have. So I'm not sure who that's for, but that's a message coming through. Um, 
I'm do see I do see something about that responsibility is being alleviated. So um, definitely take that as confirmation. Um, there is some changes happening with home, though. I do see that for sure. I'm not too sure. There might be changes with the home, as in structure. I'm seeing something about structure. Maybe renovations. Maybe you are moving pile four. That could be something you are considering. I'm even saying someone's parents are moving in to their home and that's going to help. Okay, so I'm getting a very specific message. If you have children and you're, you've been having issues balancing like work and taking care of your children, um, someone here is going to have their parents move in so it's the grandparents to move into the house. That's going to help with the burden. Okay, I don't want to say burden, but the responsibility. So if you know you have to go to work and you've been, you have been can't find someone to watch your kids, I do feel like the parents are going to help, the grandparents specifically. Okay, so that's definitely a message for somebody. All right. Now let's look at the next cards. We have marriage. Mm -hmm. And then we have origin. So... Again, take what resonates. Um, a marriage is definitely pick, um, marriage is definitely coming up here. So for those of you who are in a connection, I do feel like it's going to lead to marriage. Maybe you already know this. Maybe you're already engaged. Um, but I'm seeing a blessing that's coming in. There's going to be a lot of good things with this marriage. And part of it does deal with home. So yeah, I do see someone moving. Moving in together is going to happen. I'm seeing shared assets specifically and the home is going to be very prosperous all right if you are married already i do see again changes with home you might be thinking about leaving finding a new home moving to a different location that's also going to be a good thing now for others of you those who are single the blessing that is coming in is you're going to be meeting someone pretty soon that will be marriage material okay and I also feel like this could be somehow connected to a cycle that you did not receive closure with. So you're going to receive closure. And I see you moving forward, power forward. And this is for those who are single, may still be hung up on somebody. I do see closure from an old cycle. You're going to be able to move forward, release the burdens. And then I see you meeting somebody new. And that's going to lead to a new cycle. All right? Because I'm seeing this is technically the lovers. So um, definitely seeing a beautiful connection coming in, all right? And it's going to lead to the establishment of some form of foundation, all right? So let's get into these cards. So we have a time for healing showing up. And then we also have conclusions are within reach. So there is definitely... It's like, I keep saying the 10, because the ten. if you deal with any 10s in tarot, it represents an ending. It represents something coming to a close, So or the ultimate thing. 10 of Cups reversed, this is regarding a conclusion, closure. And that's what I'm seeing with the conclusions are within reach over here. So again, you're going to be receiving closure, pal, for, and if it's not love, it's regarding some other aspect of life. Now, when it comes to a time for healing, this could be connected to that situation, but I'm also getting a time for healing is greatly connected to relaxing and taking time off and not pushing yourself. So that itself can be healing, you know, taking time, enjoying yourself, not working. That is a form of self-care and healing. So that's definitely what's coming in for you. Um. So what I want to do is, let me see. Yeah, I'll just I'll just pull from this. So let's see what else, what other messages do we have for pile four? Okay, so we have the 12th house, Neptune, and Aquarius. Oh, it flipped to Gemini, but Aquarius. So um pile four, I'm also getting something about your abilities. 12th house deals with karma, past lives, Neptune. Oh, okay. So I see what this is. 
I'm seeing something here because when I see Neptune in a 12th house, this deals with illusions. This deals with secrecy. Um, it deals with not seeing something clearly. And then Aquarius is all about changing things up. So I, again, I do feel like if there is something you have had not any closure on, if you're still questioning, if you're just like still hung up on it, that's going to get revealed. And you're going to notice, I think the main thing you're going to notice is how much secret like how many secrets there were um how complicated the situation was and possibly like things you didn't even notice before you're going to notice them when this does come up i'm also seeing something here about addictions because neptune and the 12th house definitely deal with addiction so i'm not sure powerful if you are someone who dealt with addictions or maybe you're taking care of somebody who has an addiction um the aquarius speaks of change so i do feel like there's positive changes coming with that and healing Aquarius is also a humanitarian sign. So maybe some of you guys are do work with people with addictions and trying to help like with rehab and stuff. So I'm, I'm seeing something about rehab. I don't know how that's playing in, but Pal4, if, if that's your story, if that's something you're connected to, take it. If it's not, don't take it. Okay, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else what i can do i can pull one more card from the astrology deck and or like a few and then i'll end off your reading we got five i swear this card has been coming out for all the piles but i'm definitely seeing a spark of inspiration coming through mm, let's see anything else for pile four hmm Quinn Cux, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Adjustments, expansion, incompleteness. Yeah. So I am seeing expansion and I'm seeing some adjustments being made. And it's again to revitalize you because you've been doing a lot, Pal for you have a lot going on and you're just responsible for so many things. So I do feel like that spark of passion and excitement will be coming in. And um I'm also seeing some blessings with your monetary gains especially with the earth element um definitely spoil yourself pal for i think that's something you can do and i also feel like you're going to be spoiled by other people like instead of you taking care of people people are going to be taking care of you so yeah that's something to look forward to now with that being said um i'm gonna end off your reading and i hope that resonated pal for I hope it did and um yeah let me know if this resonates i'll see you guys later bye